Uh, we can't accept that, Lord Runciman. Will you be going back to Prague? Well, that's in the letter we got. We're entitled to take a more optimistic view than Lord Runciman implies, and our authority is Mr. Chamberlain. As he emerges from his plane at Heston, a personal letter from the King is handed to him, and then he says... I've come back again, rather quicker than I expected. Yesterday afternoon, I had a long talk with Herr Hitler. It was a frank talk, but it was a friendly one. And I feel satisfied now that each of us fully understands what is in the mind of the other. Yeah. 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 And later on, perhaps in a few days, I'm going to have another talk with Herr Hitler. Only this time, he has told me that it is his intention to come halfway to meet me. <laughs> he wishes to spare an old man another such a long journey. Even after his long journey, there is no rest for the Premier. He returns to Downing Street where Mrs. Chamberlain awaits him and goes inside to continue his efforts to save peace.